So this problem is to factorize fully the following expression, which is 9x squared minus 12x minus 5. In order to factor a quadratic expression like this, um, I like to start by multiplying the coefficient of the x squared with the constant. So that gives us 9 times negative 5, which would be negative 45. From here, we're looking for two numbers that add, that both multiply to get negative 45 and add to get negative 12. In order to find numbers such as that, I like to start by finding um, factors of 45. Let's start with 1 and 45. And is there any way to add or subtract 1 and 45 to get negative 12? I don't think so, so let's keep going. 45 is not even, so it isn't, um, doesn't have a factor of 2, but it does have a factor of 3 because 3 times 15 is 45. Looking at these two numbers, if we subtract 3 minus 15, we get negative 12. So we need the 15 to be a negative number, and these are our two factors that are our special way to break up our middle term. Using the 3 and the 15, let's first bring down the 9x squared. I'm going to break the middle term into two terms using the coefficients of 3 and negative 15, but it has an x, so we have to use that as well. So plus 3x minus 15x minus 5. So notice that if we combine these two terms, we will get back to this one. Um, so that's how we know that we need these x's there to make the like terms. From here, we use a strategy called uh, factoring by grouping. So we'll group the first two terms together and group the second two terms together and factor them individually. So out of 9x squared and 3x, we have a factor of 3 and also a factor of x. So let's pull that out front. And what's left out of 9x squared would be a 3x, because 3x times 3x makes 9x squared. And then what's left out of 3x, there's nothing left, but we have to keep a placeholder there, so we need to keep a plus 1. Because if we don't have that placeholder there, then if we distribute the 3x back in, we'll completely lose this term. So we don't want that to happen. Next, let's factor the next two terms as a group as well. So they're both negative, we can pull out a negative because of that. And we have a factor out of 15 and five, we could pull out a five. So what's left out of the first term would be three x. And same thing here, uh, what's left out of the negative five is nothing, so we need to keep a plus one to keep that placeholder. Now notice that what's in the parentheses or, or brackets is common between both terms. So we can pull that parentheses out front and make the 3x plus 1 a factor of these two terms, which what would be left out of the first term would be the 3x, and what would be left out of the second term is a minus 5. So looking at our answer here, we don't have anything that has like a multiple um, in each factor, and so this would be our fully factored um, whoa, that didn't work out. Um, this would be our fully factored expression. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or if you have a, a homework question you'd like to see a video on, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. And please like and share with anybody who you think might find these videos to be helpful. Thanks for watching.